Okay. Now, yesterday we talked, or we started with the co continuity. And we said that we have a, and we have a conditions that we have that, that all of the, uh, are that I have to check all the statements. I have to check that if the function is defined, if the limit is exist, and also I have to check that if the limit is equal to the value of the function. If these three conditions are satisfied, I can say that this limit is continuous at x equals c. We solved also many graphs. We solved number one, we solved number, uh, now let's go on to two, number two here. Let's check now here to revise how can we check that if the limit or the function is continuous at one, at two, and at three. Let's start now with, to check now, I want now to check I want now to check if it's continuous at a one. So now let's see if f is continuous at x equal one. Look at f of one. What is the value of f of one? The value of f of one is equal to one, as you see from here. F, the function, the value of the function, I'm talking about the closed circle, the colored circle. Then, limit F of X when X approaches 1 from the right. Look at 1 from the right here. 1. It is what? It is 1 also. Can't limit F of X when X Approaches one from the left is what? One. Is also equal? One? Yes. At the left. Yes. Sure. <coughs> yes. Sure. Yes. yes. Rana and Noir can't enter. Yeah. Did she enter now? Good morning, miss. Good morning. Yes, Shahid. Yes, teacher. Why are you are raising your hand? Oh, no, Shahid, you raise her hand. My mistake, sorry. Sorry, okay. So now, now look at the limit f of x at 1 from the right. It's equal to 1. Now what about 1 from the left? Look at here. Did we have a curve at 1 from the left? Is there any curve? Yes, grade yes. 11. Is there any curve? Yes. 
Where is it? In the left here. In the left side. No, it's not. No. So it's not exist. Or does not exist. Every time, if you see a limit, that is one-sided limit. This one, number one, at, at point one, we call it one-sided limit. Because it's one-sided limit, it's not exist. Every time, the one-sided limit does not exist. So here, the limit from the left is not exist, is undefined. And from the right, this is one. So can I say that the limit f of x when x approaches to 1 is exist? No, it does not exist. So the limit does not exist. And the function is defined. Can I say that the function at point 1 is continuous? No. Why are you sleeping? Can I say it's continuous at x equal 1? No. 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 Okay. Now, I want now to check the continuous at point 2. Let's find point f. So what I have to do, the first step, I have to find f of 2. The second step, I have to find limit f of x when x approaches to 2. And the third step, I want to check that f of, of 2 is equal to limit f of x when x approaches 2. So here now, I have to check all the three, three conditions. If they are satisfied, I can say that the limit here is uh, or, sorry, I can say that the function is continuous, continuous at x equal to. Let's start now with the first one. F of 2. Who can tell me what's the value of f of 2? 2. It's 2, thank you. Now, limit f of x when x approaches 2 from the right now. 2 from the right here. Three. What's the value supposed to be? Three. Three. And limit f of x when x approaches 2 but now from the left. 3. There are 3 also. Are the limit now? Is x, does the limit exist? Yes. It's, Yes. yes, because they are equal. So I can say now that limit f of x when x approaches 2 is equal to 3 because it exists. So my first condition was satisfied, was accomplished. My second one also was accomplished. Now I have to check now the third one. Is the value of, or is the function of f of 2 is equal to limit f of x at x equal to as uh, approaches to 2? No. no. Look here. f of 2 is 2. And limit is 3. Is it equal? No, it doesn't equal. No. The limit at f of 2 is equal to, and the limit of f of x when x approaches 2 is 3, and they are not equal. So I can say that the limit Oh, the function at x equal to is not continuous. This is now my summarize. The function at x equal to is not continuous. Is it clear? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, uh, what about x equal 3? At x equal 3, is it continuous or no? Before solving it. No. Will it be continuous? No. Why no? No. 
No. Because there is no other right. Thank you. Because it's only one-sided limit, so the limit will not will be not exist. So it will be not continuous. Now, let's check at uh, number four at point two. Here, no. I want to find f of two. F of two. What is the value of f of 2? 4. 4. Four? 0. Why 4? 0. It's 0. And the four. Miss Osnikali, number 3 or number 4? Here, 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 here. Ah, oh, 0. Okay, now limit f of x when x approaches 2 from the right now. x from the right it will be 0. And limit f of x when x approaches 2 from the left. 0. It is 0 also. Does the limit exist now? Yes. Yes. So no, I will no. say now limit f of x when x approaches 2 is equal to 0. Then, so here now, the first step I have to find f of 2. If f of 2 is defined, I have to find the limit at x equal to, I'm oh, sorry, when x approaches to 2. So the steps here. The first step I have it's to find. Right? Yes. If it's not defined, what should we do? Excuse me. If it's not defined, what should we do? We will stop. We will say, okay, it's not defined, so it's not continuous from the beginning. Okay. Okay. I would. I want to three. Uh, to uh, three. Uh, to draw a tree for you here like this. The first step I have to find f of two. If f of two is defined, it could be defined and it could be not defined. It's not defined, I have to stop. If it is defined, I have to find the limit. Now, if the limit is exist, or the limit could be exist, or it could be not existed. It's not exist, I will stop. And if it exists, I will check now. If the limit is equal to the function, limit x is equal to the function of x. If they are equal, I can say it's continuous. And if they are not equal, I will say it's not continuous. Now, is it clear? Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. From the beginning, I start with f of 2. If I saw that f of 2 is not defined, I will stop. I will write this function is not continuous. But if it's defined, I will go to the limit. If it exists, I will say, okay, I will check them. If it's not exist, I will stop. I will say it's not continuous. Now, if it exists, I will check if they are equal or no. If they are equal, 
I will say that the limit is continuous. If they are not equal, so the limit is not continuous. So the three conditions now to to say that this function this uh, function is continuous is f of two to be defined and the limit to be exist and also the function equal the limit. Is it clear now? Yes. Yes, miss. Okay. Now. Noir, are you here? And Rana? Yes, ma'am. Yes, miss. Okay, okay, you because you told me that you cannot enter the meeting. No. As we said in the pre-calculus, on the functions, did you remember that when I told you that if I have function of x, and function or uh, uh, g of x that these two functions can be added and can be subtracted and also in the limits we say that if the limit is exist we can add them we can multiply them we can subtract them and we can also divide them here also of the same i told you that the function at f is continuous Okay, I can subtract it, them, I can add them, I can multiply it and dividing them. So if the function f and g are continuous at c, it must be at the same point, at point c. If the function is continuous at f and continuous at c, I can say that if I adding them, it will be continuous. So. If I have here now function x or the function is continuous at c and g is continuous also at c. If both of them are continuous, so f, if I added them, the answer will be continuous. And if I subtracted them also, it will be continuous at C. If I multiplied them, it will be continuous at C. And if I divided them, it will be now continuous at C. Must be, but, but, but sorry, but be careful here to check the zeros of the denominator. Yeah, and that's mean it will be if I divide function into function, I can say that it's continuous in all the in all the interval except the zero of the denominator.
Now, since they are, and now I told you that they are continuous. Since they are continuous, that means the limit is equal to the value of the function. So limit f of x when x approaches to 3 is equal to f of 3. So if I told you that the value of f of 3 is 2, the limit will be also 2. And if I told you that g of 3 is 4, so the limit of g of 3 to g of x at x approaches 3, it will be 4 also. Why? Because if you told me that they are continuous, so what does it mean? That means f of 3 is equal limit f of x at x approaches to 3. And also for g of 3, it's continuous with limit. That means oh, if g, the g of x is continuous at x equal 3, that means g of 3 is equal the limit at x approaches to 3. Now, in number 2 here, suppose that f and g are continuous function such that f of 2 is equal 1 and limit f of x plus 4gx equal 13. So he told me that f of 2 is equal what? Is equal what? 1. And limit f of x plus 4g of x is equal to 13. He wants me now to find g of 2. And limit g of 2. Uh, limit g of x when x approaches 2. Who can give me the idea here? How can I solve it? Can I try to chill? Yes. It will be limit for uh, it will be limit for x. Uh, sorry, it will be limit f of x plus four uh, plus four limit g of x. Thank you. So thank you, Anna. So the first step here, I will say it is limit f of x plus four limit g of x. This equal what now? This equal 13. Now, f of 2 is equal to 1. Can I say that limit f of x when x approaches 2 is equal to 1 also? Yes. Why yes? Teacher, I didn't understand. Okay. From the beginning or this on the from the, this step only? No, this step. Okay. Now, here now he asked me to find g of two and limit g of x. Hello. I told you before that how can I say how can I say that the limit or the function is continuous when when the function is continuous? When the function is continuous? When it exists. When, the when the limit? Yes, when the limit equal the function. Is it right? Yes. Okay. So if I told you now that the function is continuous, what does it mean? That means the limit equal the function, the value of the function. In the previous one, I want to check if it is continuous. How can I check? By check if these two values are equal, I can say now it's continuous. Here now, I have to do the opposite. Here now, he told me that it's continuous. So by default, the limit will equal to the function. So now, because of that, if you go here now, f of 2 equal 1. And he told me that f 
are continuous. So what does it mean? That means the limit of f at x approaches 2, it will be 1 also. Why? Because they are continuous. And I told you that if they are continuous, so the limit equals the value of the function. Is it clear now? Yes, is it yes, clear now? Yes, miss. Okay. So then, so I have now the value of the limit. It is one. As I said here, plus four limit g of x equal 13. Then minus one, minus one. So four limit g of x equal 12. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So limit g of x when x approaches 2 is equal to what now? Is equal to 3. Okay? So how can who can tell me now what about g of 2? Since it is continuous, what about g of 2? 3. It will be 3 also. Thank you. Because the it's continuous. So the limit of g of x and it was and when x approaches two is equal to g of two. Is it clear now? Yes, miss. Yes. Now I want you now. Did you see number three? Suppose that f and g are continuous function. Yes. Okay. This will be your. Uh, homework. I will put it as an online assignment. Solve it and send me the answer. Okay? Okay. Do you have any question? Because we have only one minute left. Do you have any question? No, miss, no. thank you. Thank you. No, number five. Number five. Okay. 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 Number five. Ok